Jack Hanna started working with animals when he was just 11 years old, and he is still growing strong. The going strong, rather, the director emeritus at Ohio's Columbus Zoo, also kicking off the fourth season of his TV show, Into the Wild. And to help do that, you brought some of your favorite friends for us this morning. This is a snow leopard, right? Right, this is a snow leopard, one of the rarest cats in the world. And uh, this animal lives in Nepal, Tibet, at very high Beautiful. altitudes. And you can even feel its foot there, how light it is. See that? Well, hello. They have fur on the bottom of their feet. And that helps them in those in those climates, exactly. of course, and with that snow in the ice, right? right? And this tail right here gets to be huge. This wow, tail actually wraps around, it wraps around the animal when temperatures go like 20, 30, 40, 50 below zero. To keep it warm? It keeps it warm, just like a jacket. Their eyes turn a blue color, and they're absolutely one of the most fantastic cats in the entire world. So how, how old is this one? This one here is about, uh, about, 60, about 14 weeks. And how, and how big will well, this no, cat get? This cat will get to be maybe 140, 160 pounds. Not a very large cat. But it's a gorgeous cat. When you see these in the wild, it's absolutely spectacular. And by the way, there may be a thousand or so left in the wild. Some people say two, some people say 500. We really don't Not know the exact many, number. Not very many, though, is the right. bottom line. They were hunted for their coats, which are valued at about $60,000 on the black market. Oh, my goodness. The coats. They're gorgeous. They're solitary they're, cat as well. They're beautiful. You also have... This is uh, the black-footed penguin. Right, and I'll let Brian just kind of hold and him up here. And where is, this is a penguin that lives um, in southern Africa, is that right? Right, this is, a, we'll be leaving for our new show in the wild. We'll be leaving here very shortly, a couple of weeks for uh, bottom down, bottom of the world down there. But this is from Africa. We film different penguins all over the world. There are 17 species of penguin, but guess what? Only five live in cold weather. Huh. Uh, this is a black-footed penguin from South Africa. We just got through filming this several months ago uh, okay. out of Cape Town. They're black and white for camouflage. These birds go very fast in water. They have more feathers per scrunch than any bird in the world. I was going to say, you can see some of the feathers coming off, but amazing? it's amazing when you see them up close because from far away it sort of looks like this slick coat, but you can really see all the feathers Right, there. they're monogamous. They mate for life, and the, the male actually sits on the egg for about 30, 40 days while the female goes out to sea and just messes around and comes back, and he's done all the work. Uh, he loses all <laughs> half exactly his body That's exactly how it is in New York City with most families. <laughs> so this is a little penguin here and uh can i pet him yeah am i allowed to there you go see oh, there it's so soft it oh something? my goodness wow but you never touched a penguin huh no i haven't i mean people get to well and when we go and we go to antarctica thank you brian when we go to antarctica uh these animals at the bottom of the world get around you by the thousands because they have no fear of man down there right because they're not hunted down there they're protected species down there Oh, this is a pretty animal here. Look at this here. Also this is a from lemur. Africa. This is from, they're, they're right. on the island of Madagascar, right, right? Exactly. This is a lemur from the island of Madagascar. Oh, these are wild creatures to me. Right. Now, the lemur, this is a red rough lemur, one of the largest of the lemurs. I'm sorry to say this animal is down to about 26 different types of lemur left in the world now. You can see, there, by the way, you see the little hands there? Yep. Just like your hand. This animal is referred to as a prosimian. And what prosimian means, it means, I don't know if you'll jump up there on your shoulder. Oh, you I don't know, Willie. Yeah, I'll give you the shoulder. No. Oh, oh, it's so soft. Isn't it soft? No claws. That's why they used to kill the animal for their fur and for their meat. But uh, this is from Madagascar, again, the island off the coast of yep. East Africa. And we'll go ahead and, and uh, see there. Hello. Prosimian, by the way, means that they were on the planet before monkeys and apes. Can you imagine that? This animal and was that's, on the planet. And, that's, and lemurs are something you're still learning a lot about. Right, because there, while there are a few species, there are still some that are just being discovered right, on right. Madagascar. The, the, the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska, does more, more research with the lemur than any other animal. You want to stand back here? This is, I will. When you get a warning like that from Jack Hanna, you heat it. <laughs> I can hear this the is a beautiful creature. cat making some noises. Come on, come on, buddy. Hi. Well, hello. <laughs> this wow. right here is a cheetah. And uh, Brian and Sean, and along with the other people at the Columbus Zoo, do a great job with these animals. We breed the cheetah at a place called the Wilds, which is right near the Columbus Zoo. It's, we have 10,000 acres, uh, about an hour from the zoo, where we breed the cheetah, wild dogs in Africa, and all those sorts of creatures. And they need that space to run, because this, well, this is the fastest right, land animal, fastest right? Fastest land mammal in the world. If you notice the tail, the tail's like a sail on a sailboat when the cat gets going 50, 60 miles an hour. If they can focus if on the foot there, I don't think they can see this or not, with one of the cameras. I'll made the front or back foot. It's the only cat in the world with non-retractable claws. The only cat in the world with non-retractable claws. That's Which is why I'm keeping a distance. <laughs> right. now, now, the cheetah, when they make a kill, the cheetah makes a kill by, by stunning its prey and grabbing the, grabbing the throat and uh -huh. breaking the throat like this. They're not a very powerful cat. And a lot of times, the prey will get away. If so, she has to rest two days. Now, if she does make a kill, buzzards and vultures sometimes will circle over. Lions and hyenas will come and take the food from her. So then, you know, the cheetah has a very tough time. The one neat thing about the cheetah is they hunt in the heat of the day. No other cat, basically, most cats hunt at night. This cat will hunt when it's 110 degrees Are outside. they able to do that just because they can move so quickly? Right, and, and the prey, see, the prey's not thinking they're going to be hunting in the daytime. They right. think at nighttime. So this is how the cheetah can surprise uh, the, their prey. It's fascinating. It's a beautiful animal. Isn't that magnificent? Yeah. I, every time I see this creature, I just can't believe it. It's just, uh, again, 70 miles an hour. When you're driving the interstate, think about this thing passing you. 
Wow. Uh, here's, here's some great news I want to say really quickly. You have one of the greatest jobs, arguably, in the world. <laughs> and if people want to be like you, they can't. I think we're going to put that information on our website, but you're running a contest. Uh, want to be like Jack Hanna. Yeah, just look at my website. Want to be like Jack Hanna. Get to go six weeks to on, on, learn how to be a ranger in South Africa. All paid for. Airfare, everything. Unfortunately, I think I'm disqualified by doing this segment. Uh, but someone else is going to wig big. Right. Jack, great to have you with us. Thanks Thank for you. bringing them all in today.